in this one. I'm going to go, this one's for like a skin lightening for like, you know, like scars, dark spots and like dark circles around eyes and stuff like that. So we're going to use the white cowling clay. We'll use half a cup of white cowling clay. That didn't feel so successful, did it? Okay. Let's see. And to that I'm going to add uh, half a teaspoon of French yellow ultra ventilated argilites. Okay. French yellow clay. This is known to be French yellow clay up is made up of fine mineral particles and iron oxide which determine its colour. Contains iron but no aluminium. It is a very mild clay that can be used on dry or sensitive skin. And you can use it um, in detoxifying, detoxifying body wraps, soap making, mask for face, neck and decolletage. Mineral based or cream based cleansers, face or body scrubs, cosmetics and facial powders, toning hair masks or beauty baths. And see, like the cool thing with the face masks is you can basically, you want your dry ingredients and they're based on whatever your skin types are and stuff like that. And then you want your wet ingredients and like you can either use just water to moisten or you can go with something a little bit more exciting like aloe vera juice and that. Now I've added a drop of jojoba oil and a drop of apricot kernel oil and vitamin E oil. Vitamin E is known to be very good for the skin and jojoba oil is as close to the skin, natural skin oil as we can get. So it's the best oil there is for the skin. And, um, and and sweet apricot kernel oil is a very nice light oil. It's not, you know, too heavy for the skin and makes it too greasy. Um, glycerin is a humectant which draws moisture into the skin. So it will draw in like the aloe vera juice or the, in this case, I'm going to use orange blossom water, um, which will be a lovely blend. So I'm also going to that will be for that. Then we'll go. We're going to have a, a essential oil blend of red mandarin times three drops. I might go for four or five because I needed more in the other batch. So I think I'm going to need more um, frankincense. It says six drops. Mm, yeah, I might go for eight, and then a bit of bergamot. It says two, I might go for four. So, that'll be the mix. We'll put the silk peptide in. We want an eighth of a teaspoon of silk peptide powder. Very expensive stuff, but very good stuff. Obviously, it's silk. It adds a silky texture. And it's really lovely for the skin. Everything I'm using here are natural, healthy, organic ingredients and that, you know, it's, it's, it really, you really can't go wrong with some of these items. I might go for a second half a teaspoon in of the French yellow clay. I think a whole teaspoon, teaspoon would be valuable and worthwhile. Okay, now we also want to go with a quarter cup of orange peel powder. This is renowned for lightening skin tones. Can you go stop? couple of drops of vitamin E oil in here. A 
couple of squirts of her hair bottle oil. If I can get any out the bottom of the bottle. expensive stuff so I want to get every last drop out of the bottle I'm sorry if that's a, a bit pedantic for you guys but I'm a Virgo that's what we do we like things to run perfectly <laughs> that's why I'm single okay and put a couple of drops of sweet apricot kernel oil is it no i always say sweet apricot kernel it's not apricot kernel oil and then we'll go in with the orange blossom water oh, oh gosh that's so beautiful i've just realized that we're in the wrong way but never mind i'm just going to keep going because i want to get it done now oops straight away dribbling the stuff in that's really expensive Wee. there's a lot of money's worth going in there but i'm hoping it's going to be worth it for my skin and for anyone else's that i give it to all right red mandarin i said I think we'll go oh I didn't add glycerin to that did I we want some glycerin in there as well because we love our glycerin it's a humectant as I said it brings moisture it draws it into the skin oh it's very thick and gloopy and then let's get that silk mixed in the way the oil and the water is separated and the glycerin I love it renowned to help with stretch marks which I have plenty of after everything so this I've got down for two so I'm going to do four or five one two three four five and it says frankincense six but because I added extra of the other ones I'm going to just do the six Maybe seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oops. That was clever. I've overfilled this a bit because I forgot about the glycerin, but. So lovely. Just trying to break down the silk so as it can soak in all the um, oils. Sunny, stop it. No, you gotta stop scratching. Okay, so 
yes, I've spilled down to the side. That's mostly essential oils, which I'm not willing to waste. It is all cleaned down with antibacterial beforehand. My fingers locked. Oh. Straight away soaked into that. That's how dry the clay is, like waiting to soak it up. You could add honey to these as well, which is also really good for antibacterial and anti inflammatory and everything. <laughs> Get down, Sonny. Oh, I'm stupid. Get down. Right, that's far too dry, so I'm going to add some water because I can really smell the orange blossom, so a bit of water won't hurt to water it down. you can add that have different effects you can add egg yolk which is actually really good for the hair if you want to put this on the mask as a hair mask add an egg yolk or a whole egg to it even anyway that is my two masks one after the other hope you enjoyed and i'm going to go and put this on and get in the bath one of my bath bombs and some of my salty bath soaps to scrub away the day's grime and dirt from working my arse off round here. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me guys. It's been lovely to see you all again, so to speak. Much love. Breathe easy folks. I'll see you again soon. Bye.